Hello everyone, my name is Mayuresh Zoshi from office365notes.com. In previous two videos, we have seen how we can call a Power Automate from Power Apps and how we can pass the parameters to Power Automate from Power Apps. In this video, we will see how we can return the data from Power Automate to Power Apps. I have, take, I have taken one use case where we will pass a couple of integer values to Power Automate. We will do multiplication of, uh, of those two numbers and then we will pass that answer to the Power Apps. So let's see how we can achieve this. Just add one button uh, on the screen. Add one label where we will show the answer. I will also add a couple of input text boxes to provide the values. Then uh, on click of button, we will call that Power Automate. So let's create one Power Automate. Choose the trigger point as Power Apps button. Provide the flow name as return data to Power Apps. Add a new step. Let's initialize a couple of variables. We'll rename this as num1 and the variable name will be var num1. It will be the integer variable and we will ask uh, in Power Apps. I'm using this step because I'm going to pass that variable from this text box and this text box to my Power App, uh, Power Automate. So let's create a couple of variable for that. So I will click on ask in Power Apps, then add a new step. Again, initialize the variable. Let's give the name as num2. The variable name will be var num2 and it will be the integer. Let's ask in Power Apps. So we have two parameters ready. Now let's respond to the Power Apps with the multiplication. So to pass the uh, data to the Power Apps from Power Automate, we will use this action, respond to Power Apps. So I will click on that, add an output. So here you need to use the text. Okay, uh, you can use the number as well, but there is currently a few bugs related to this. Sometimes you may not uh, uh, get the uh, correct value in Power Apps, it will be blank. So for now, let's take the text input. We'll give that as my answer. And here we will do the multiplication. So for multiplication, there is one a function called as MUL. Let's pass two variables here and click on OK. So this formula will do the multiplication of these two numbers. So let's save this flow. Once it is saved, you will be able to see that flow over here. So just click on that. So that flow will get attached to this button on select event. Okay, you can see it is attached. Now it is asking for two parameters. So let's provide the parameters as this. So I'll pass them as an integer using the value function and also this one. Okay, now uh, this will trigger the Power Automate, but we want to store that data which Power Automate will return. So to store the data, we will add one variable, means we will set one variable, which is let's say where my output Okay, so when I will trigger this flow, my output uh, which uh, which is returned by um, Power Automate that will get stored in this uh, object. So uh, you need to use that object to show the data. So I have used this label and I will use that object over here. Now that object will have a few properties. So those properties are this. You can add multiple properties from here. 
but currently we are just using one text property which is my answer so i will use that property and now let's uh, let's check how it is working so i'll provide some value over here 12 into 13 and let's click on this button and you can see uh, we are getting the result so if i provide some another value we are getting the result also you can see uh, it should be triggered yeah so in this way uh, we have seen how we can uh, pass the parameters from power apps to power automate and how we can respond uh, the data to the power apps from power automate i hope you have liked this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment sections below and thanks for watching have a nice day